Good day, folks. Thank you for joining us here at Your Health. We have a great program for you today. Cindy joins us in the kitchen. She has a great family recipe for you today. Be sure and watch that and write that down today. Your kids, your family will love this one. First, let's go to the news. Let's see what's happening out there. Marketers urge to stop advertising junk food to kids. The Institute of Medicine is challenging the U.S. food industry to stop marketing junk food to children while offering more healthful food choices in order to reduce the occurrence of childhood obesity. The Institute report finds the food industry has spent an estimated $10 billion in 2004 on advertising of unhealthy foods and beverages to U.S. children. To help curb childhood obesity, the Institute of Medicine is suggesting cartoon characters be only used to market healthful foods and promote healthy diets. They also suggest fast food restaurants should offer healthier menus for children. The report is also calling upon the federal government to become more involved in monitoring America's food production industry. Folks, this topic and the recommendations made by the Institute of Medicine are among the most important news releases you'll hear this year. The rate of childhood obesity has tripled in the last 30 years, and unless something is done now, our children will not live as long as the preceding generation, a phenomenon that has never occurred during the entire history of America. Now, the American fast and junk food industries hotly contest the notion that advertising a junk food leads to obesity, and my answer to this absurd notion is, why then are you spending $10 billion a year in advertising if it's not working? Folks, with the amount of money at stake in this issue, it's going to take years before we have healthy fast food options for our kids. We can't wait that long. The families of America must act now. Make healthy living a home-based priority. Parents, you are still the most powerful influence in the lives of your children. Teach them well. This is not a job of the government. It's our job. School bake sales lead to overweight pupils. Schools that run bake sales and allow teachers to reward students with candy may have more overweight students, reveals a University of Minnesota study of over 3,000 students. The study monitored seven specific food practices that would allow children uh, access to food outside of the normal meal programs. The study found a 10% increase of body mass index with each additional food practice used in schools. Researchers also found 69% of the schools studied allowed food to be used as an academic incentive, and 59% allowed the sale of unhealthy food for classroom fundraising. The report went on to provide examples of unhealthy food practices found in schools, and they included the use of candy, cookies, donuts, or sodas as behavior and academic incentives, or the sale of cupcakes or candy to raise funds for school projects. And when these practices occurred, each and every one practiced added 10% to the body mass index of the student body. In other words, it contributes to childhood obesity. Schools that have adopted healthy food practices report the students quickly adapt to more healthy practices. Now, all you school board members out there, pay attention to this one. Bake sales and junk food classroom incentives are making our kids overweight. Healthy diet featuring good fats helps childhood health. You are never too young to start eating a heart-healthy diet featuring health-promoting fats and oils, reports a Turku University in Finland study of over a thousand children. The study found boys who ate a saturated fat-restricted diet while consuming two to three percent fewer calories than their peers showed improved blood flow through their coronary arteries compared to boys who received no nutritional guidelines throughout the study. The researchers emphasized the boys were not placed on a low-fat diet, but rather their families were instructed on which fats to avoid and which fats to include in their diet. See, folks, a little nutritional counseling goes a long ways in the health of our children. Our first two stories today painted a rather gloomy picture of the health of America's children. And this story on the Finnish study shows that if we make health a priority by instituting healthy dietary practices, the benefits will be returned tenfold to our children. The children in this study were not told to eat a low-fat diet. They were simply advised to reduce the amount of unhealthy fats, such as occurs in junk food and fried foods. Simple steps lead to healthy results. Today on Your Health, we'll be taking your questions, but first, Cindy joins us in the kitchen. She's got a great recipe for black bean lasagna. Now, if you're fixing macaroni and cheese out of a box for your kids, switch to this recipe. It's healthy, and your kids will love it. Join us today on your health.